Okay, we're now recording. So I think we'll be done fairly early today. All right, so we are here. I had 13.2 left, I was almost done with it. So I think what I'll do is I'll finish the rest of 13.2, sneak in a little bit of 13.3. I wanna stay a little bit at hand in case I end up falling behind here. Okay, so game plan for now is exam six is Monday the 17th, one section a day. Okay, I'll do 13.2. I'll sneak in some of 13.3 just to make it easier. So if I get that chance, I'll do that for all the rest of the days. So even though on the schedule, 13.3 is until Monday, I'll sneak in a little bit of it today. It'll just help me. And we'll still finish plenty early. Then Monday, I'll finish 13.3 and maybe sneak in some of 13.4. Likewise, 13.4 on Tuesday. If I can sneak in 13.5, we'll do that. Okay, then next Thursday is our last regular quiz. Last regular exam is on the 17th. Then we'll review for the final exam. Okay, again, for the final exam, um, study the old exams. And as far as cheat sheets are concerned, you can bring all the other previous formula sheets. Okay, so I hope you didn't throw them away. If you threw them away, just make them again. But if you kept them, so let's say for the final exam, you're allowed six formula sheets. Okay, so whatever formula sheet you had for exam one and then exam two, and three and four and five and six. You don't have to make them all over again, just bring them all. And by the way, if you wanna to add to it, you certainly may. So if you say, oh, I wish I put, put this down on test four, right? You, you can do that. Just go ahead and put that in. So let's say for the final exam, you can have six formula sheets. Okay, and it'll be on Monday the 24th, 11, 10 to 1, and then we're finished. Okay. All right, so that's what's happening. <clears throat> Um, for today, I think we're going to finish early enough that I don't think we have to actually formally break. I'll just go straight to the quiz. Uh, and then when the quiz is over, we're finished. Okay, so I'm not positive I'll finish before 12. But if you can bear with me, if I can just keep going until a little bit after 12, rather than taking a break and then giving you the quiz, uh, if you'll just let me go a little bit beyond 12, I may not need it. I may finish well before 12. But if I end up going a little bit past 12, just let me finish a little bit past 12, then just give you the quiz, then we'll finish a little bit earlier today, okay? So that's the way it's gonna work. So I'll do some more of the problems from 13.2, um, in particular, the ones that will help you for today's quiz, but I'll sneak in a little bit of 13.3. It just makes things a little bit easier and we'll still finish in plenty of time, I think, okay? All right, so that's what's happening. Uh, any quick questions you can ask? Let me check the chat. Uh, okay, so Kimberly Perez, I believe, um, I got you. Um, I'll get it afterwards. I already put away my row sheet. Anybody else that join late, please uh, go ahead and put your name in the chat. Okay, any other questions about the test, the final exam, where we're headed, and so forth? Okay, so just hang in there a little bit longer. We've only got, what, a little bit more than two weeks left, and there we go. Okay, so... <clears throat> Yesterday, we were solving problems like this, and today's quiz will be almost exactly like this type, okay? So they give you some polynomial equation, find all the roots, root means a solution, okay? So if it's third degree, you know there's gonna be three roots if you allow for multiplicity, like maybe they're all one. So the three roots you would say are one, one, and one, okay? And later on, we have maybe fourth degree, there's gonna be four roots. Uh, fifth degree, there's gonna be five roots and so on, okay? So last time I got up to 29, so I'll do 31. Okay, so they give you this equation and they tell you negative two is a root. Okay. I'm 31, 3x cubed minus 5x squared. 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 16x plus 12 equals zero. And they're telling us negative two is a root. It's a solution. <laughs> All right, this is third degree. Therefore, how many roots should there be? Should be three. 
if you allow for multiplicity. Okay, so in other words, maybe they're all negative two. So then we would say negative two, negative two, and negative two. That would be counted as the three roots. Okay, so all I do is I do synthetic division on negative two. X cubed will become an X squared. Once I get to X squared, I can always do the quadratic formula, right? So that's the way we do it. So we're going to do both factor this polynomial completely and give all the roots. Okay, so negative two goes here. Three, negative five, negative 16, 12. Now, if this is a root, what do I anticipate way over here? Zero. In fact, that's a way you can double check. If this is a root, that means when I plug in negative two, I should get zero. So by the factor theorem, I'm, I'm gonna put it right away. I'm anticipating this to be a zero. So if you don't get a zero, then something's wrong. So it's a sort of a way to double check yourself. All right, bring down to three and then multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. So three times negative two, negative six, add negative five plus negative six plus negative 11. Multiply negative two times negative 11, 22. Add negative 16 plus 22 is six. Multiply negative two times six is negative 12. Add zero, yes, it works. Okay, so now the original polynomial, which I'll call P, P of X, can be factored into. Okay, if negative two is a root, what's the factor? Not x minus two, but x plus two, right? If it's all factored, then x plus two is a factor because if you plug in negative two, you get zero. But if you put x minus two, when you plug in negative two, you're not gonna get zero, right? And how do I read this? Three x squared minus 11 x plus six. Okay, so I have negative two is a root, right? You can tell when you plug in negative two, you get zero. <clears throat> this one, is it factorable? Well, maybe we'll try it. If it's not factorable, quadratic formula. So I'll try it, but I'm not sure if I'll get it. Three X, X, a minus and a plus means they're both minuses. And six, yes, I think I can do it if I put a three here. And a two here, is that right? Double check with FOIL. Three X squared minus nine X minus two X is minus 11 X plus six, yes. So now the zeros or the roots, X equals negative two. This one, a little bit of algebra, but some of you can do it in your head. If I add two and divide by three, I get two thirds, right? And this one is three. So there we go. So it's completely answered. Okay, I'm supposed to have three zeros or three roots. Here they are, negative two, two thirds and three. And here is the complete factorization of the polynomial. So what is this completely factored? You know there's gonna be three factors because it's X cubed. So X plus two, three X minus two, X minus three. And problem solved. Okay, that's what we got. Thirty-three. 2x cubed plus x squared. 2x cubed plus x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0. Negative 3 halves is a root. Okay, a little bit clumsy because of the fraction, but we'll go with it. So negative three halves, two, one, negative five, negative three. What automatically goes here if this is a root? Zero. Two comes straight down. <clears throat> and multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. 
I do have a fraction, but you'll see it's actually not as bad as you might think. <clears throat> What's negative three halves times two? Two catches out, negative three. Add, negative two. Multiply, add, negative three halves times negative two is positive. The twos cancel out, so I have a three. Add negative two. Multiply again, two negatives make a positive. Twos cancel out. Three, zero. Perfect. So P of X, P of X, the original polynomial, is now, okay, careful. Is it X plus three halves or X minus three halves? X plus three halves, right? See, if I plug in negative three halves, I get zero. If I plug in positive three halves, I don't get zero. How do I read this? Two X squared minus two X minus two. This is clumsy, but see how all of these have two? I'll factor out the two and distribute over here. Right, and that's generally what you should do. So you have integer coefficients as much as possible. So x plus three halves, two times x squared minus x minus one. And now distribute the two here. So I get two x plus three, that's a lot nicer. x squared minus x minus one. <clears throat> okay, I already know this is not factorable. So I can use the quadratic formula. Right. And by the way, if you want to put the quadratic formula on your cheat sheet, you may. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Right. So my A is 1, B is negative 1, C is negative 1. I like all the 1s or negative 1s, right? It's easy to plug in. So negative B, negative, negative 1. 1 plus or minus square root. B squared, negative one squared is one, minus four times A, which is one, times C, which is negative one, all over two times one, that's two. So this is a double negative, one plus four. So one plus or minus radical five, all over two. All right, we're supposed to have three solutions. I'll go back and write the three solutions. They were negative three halves and then each of these, right? So X equals negative three halves, one minus radical five over two and one plus radical five over two. Okay. Now, it's a little bit harder to write the factors when you have something weird like this, but I'll show you how to do it. Basically, you know, it's going to be X minus each of these, right? X minus a minus three halves. So how do you write the original polynomial now? X minus a minus three halves, X plus three halves. Okay. And then if you can get through all that, maybe just cover it up. I'm just going to go X minus whatever's behind my finger. And then X minus one plus radical five over two. And you can leave it like that. Okay. So this original polynomial completely factored, there's supposed to be three factors because it's third degree, right? It's something with an X, something with an X, something with an X. Here it is. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm only supposed to put X plus three halves. Uh, it was two X plus three, my bad. 2x plus 3, and then x minus each of these. x minus 1 minus radical 5 over 2. x minus 1 plus radical 5 over 2. And these are the solutions. Okay, Meaning if we plug in negative 3 halves here, here, and here, well, negative 3 halves times 2 is negative 3 plus 3 is 0. 
if you plug in one minus radical five over two here, here, and here, this is a mess. But if I put one minus radical five over two here, it cancels that, so it's zero. So zero times the rest is zero, and likewise for that one. Okay. So that's that. Okay, the last ones, we have fourth degree, 35 x to the fourth, 37 x to the fourth. What does that mean? There's gonna be four roots. Okay, so 35, blah, 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 five as a root. All right. X to the fourth minus 15 X cubed. A 75 x squared minus 125 x equals zero. Five is a root. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. What can I factor out? X. X times X cubed minus 15 X squared plus 75 X minus 125. And I set that equal to zero. That means I automatically have another root. Zero, right? So zero is a root, five is a root. I'll do synthetic division of this. I'm not gonna do it on this. And then I'll get down to my second degree and then quadratic formula, worst case scenario. All right? So zero is a root. Five is also a root, which means X minus five is a factor. But I don't want to do the, the long division. I'd rather do synthetic division. Okay. So one, negative 15, 75, negative 125, five. If five is a root, what should go over here? Zero. Let's try it. One comes down, <clears throat> multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Multiply, five times one is five. <clears throat> add, negative 10. Multiply, uh, negative 50. Add 25, multiply, add zero. So five is a root. So what is a factor? A factor is not X plus five, X minus five, right? So P of X is now X, X minus five, and how do I read this? X squared minus 10X plus 25. And now I factor this. And that's pretty easy to factor. In fact, it's a perfect square. Isn't that X minus five squared? X minus five times X minus five is that which means I now have X minus five cubed. So the original polynomial is completely factored. There's supposed to be four factors because it's a fourth degree. Here it is. What are the roots? Zero and five of multiplicity three. Okay, so again, from the get-go, we already knew that there's going to be four solutions if we allow for multiplicity. Okay, so if I write this all factored to be x, x minus 5, x minus 5, x minus 5, right? In which case, I'd say the solutions are 0, 5, 5, 5, where there's repetition. So we say 0 and 5 of multiplicity 3. Okay, so again, this root that we said, if you have x to the fourth power, there are four roots if you allow for multiplicity, <clears throat> repetition. Okay. So there are four, zero, five, five, and five, or zero and five of multiplicity three.
And there we go. Okay, that's it. 37 is the last one. And then I'm actually finished, folks. It's barely past 11.30. So I'll do this. I'll sneak in a little bit of 13.3, and then we're done. And I'll give you a quiz. <laughs> Okay, look generally at 37, the last one. And then, yeah, I guess I can mark off 13 feet. I already finished uh, 47 to 51, right? 37, X to the fourth plus blah, 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 blah. Aha, they give me two solutions. Negative four and three are roots. Roots mean solutions. <clears throat> so I'll divide out the negative four. That'll bring me down to X cubed. Do it with the three, that'll bring me down to x squared. Once I have x squared quadratic formula, worst case scenario, is that right? Okay, so this is the last one, although it's probably the longest one. Okay, the fourth, two x cubed minus 23 x squared minus 24 x plus 144 equals zero. Negative four and three are roots. Okay. I'm gonna show you how to do synthetic division twice so that you don't have to recopy everything. Just kind of take your answer and go right to it. Okay, so let's do the negative four. You say, could I do the three first? Yeah, it doesn't matter which one you do first. You can do three and then negative four. I'll do negative four and then three, get the negative out of the way. Negative four, <clears throat> one, two, negative 23, negative 24, 144. What is this automatically? Zero. Okay, one comes straight down. Multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. So negative four times one, add. Multiply, negative four times negative two, A, add negative 15. Negative four times negative 15 is positive 60. Oh boy. Add 36. 36 times negative four is negative 144, zero, perfect. <clears throat> now, here's how you could save time. Yes, I know one of the factors is X minus four. This represents X cubed minus two X squared minus 15 X plus 36. But I'm gonna divide out to three anyway. So didn't even bother write it. Just go immediately to this. See that? So don't even bother writing the polynomial. The brand new problem starts, so just pretend it starts off like this. Yes, we know it's x cubed minus 2x squared minus 15x plus 36. But what's supposed to be a root of that? Three. So don't even bother writing it. Just pretend you have a brand new problem that looks like this. See, save time. I have to write all the x to the fourth and x cubed. I know they're there. Right, but this saves a lot of time. Let's go right to this. And this should be a zero. Is that right? Okay, do it again. One, <clears throat> multiply, add. Three, one. Multiply, add, negative 12. Multiply, add, perfect. Now, how do I read this? X squared plus X minus 12. So my original polynomial, I can say is X plus four or X minus four? X plus four. See, if I plug in negative four, I get zero. If I put negative four here, you say, oh, negative four, maybe I should put negative four. No, because then if it, this was X negative four and you plug in negative four, you wouldn't get zero. What should the next one be if a root is three? X minus three. And now this thing, 
x squared plus x minus 12. And that looks factorable. Paren, 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 paren. X squared is x times x. Minus means a difference. Put two numbers of a product of 12 and a difference of one, four and three. Let's see, you want the answer to come out to be positive. So positive should go with the bigger number. It's four, x minus three. Four, let back out to double check. X squared minus three x plus four x is plus six minus 12. Okay, there it is, it's completely factored, but what do you notice? These two are the same, these two are the same. So the complete factorization of the original is x plus four squared, x minus three squared. So the zeros are x equals negative four of multiplicity two, and x equals three also of multiplicity Two. Okay, that's it, folks. I'm actually done with everything I was planning to do today for 13.2. Um, but again, to save time, I'll sneak in a little bit of 13.3, and we'll still finish quite early. I'll give you the quiz. So yeah, it looks like the way the time is going, we won't even break. I'll just keep going, and then we'll break, and then we're done for the day. Okay. So 13.3, 19 to 24, all 25A to 30A, all, what is dead about? <clears throat> okay, it's kind of like the same thing, but we're building up a polynomial, so to speak. Okay, I'm finished with the page, so let me do my focusing job here. Okay, and if anybody has a question, go ahead and put it in the chat. If anybody joined late, put it in the chat also so I can get you for attendance. this. And all that. Okay. So let me check the chat. Okay, CISO, I got you now. Anybody else that joined late, please put your name in the chat so I can get you for 10 years. Okay, 13.3. The fundamental theorem of algebra, I've sort of already given it to you. I would say don't even write this down. Every polynomial of the equation a sub n x to the n plus blah, 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 has at least one root within the complex number system. The root may be a real number, okay? Get more specific. Linear factor theorem. F of x is a sub n x to the n, okay? f of x can be expressed as a product of n linear factors among the complex numbers. Okay, what do those both mean? Okay, I'll make it real simple for you. So don't write that down. I don't think it's worth writing it down. I don't think it's worth writing this down. I'll just give it to you in short. Let's say you have seventh degree, x to the seventh and then blah, 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 right? Five x to the six minus three, whatever, seventh degree. How many solutions are there? Seven, exactly seven. That's all, that's what that meant. Some of them might be complex, A plus BI, okay? And also if you allow for multiplicity, you might have repeated solutions, okay? That's all. What's happening in 13.3, again, originally on the schedule, I wasn't gonna start it until Monday, but since I have so much extra time, I thought I'd sneak in some now just in case I fall behind and we'll still end early. Okay. <clears throat> so we had 19 to 24 and 25A to 30A. So it's on page 942. Let me show you what's up. Build a polynomial that satisfies all of these here. Okay. They give you a root and a multiplicity. Right? 22, 23, 24. 25 to 30, just part A. What's wrong with part B? Oh, let's see, use a graphing calculator utility. All right, so we know, don't do that. So just do all the A's, root, multiplicity, root, multiplicity, 
root multiplicity and so on. Okay, so here's all you have to do. I'll get you started on it. Okay, you do not have the even answers in the back of the book, so I'll give that to you right now. Okay, so number 20. To give you the roots, build the polynomial. We're not gonna bother multiplying it out to a certain extent, so to speak. So root is zero, the multiplicity two, and a root of four, multiplicity one. Build the polynomial. Okay. Well, if the root is zero, you would say x minus zero, but x minus zero is zero. Multiplicity is two. So x squared, root of four multiplicity one, which means don't put an exponent, x minus four. I mean, work backwards. Suppose this was the polynomial factored. So what are my zeros? Well, zero, multiplicity two, and four, multiplicity one, okay? And now we can multiply it out, okay? It's not my purpose to torture you with super long polynomials. If it's too difficult to multiply out or too crazy, then we won't bother. We'll just say, okay, if we were in algebra one, we could do it, but most of the time, I won't make you multiply out super bad ones, so to speak. But this one's very easy, x cubed minus four x squared, right? So we're just going backwards. Suppose this was the original polynomial. Give the roots. How many are there? Three. Here they are, zero of multiplicity two and four of multiplicity one. Again, it's like saying zero, zero, and four. Okay. That's basically it, what's happening for that kind of problem. <clears throat> okay, the ones that have square roots or imaginary, I'll save that until Monday. Okay, so like 22, 23, 24, I'll hold off on those. But uh, 26, okay, it's only part A. So root zero, Multiplicity one, root of one, multiplicity two, and root of three, a multiplicity one, 26. Zero of multiplicity one, one of multiplicity two, three multiplicity one. So my polynomial P of X, okay. You basically go X minus each of these, X minus zero, X. X minus one squared, and then X minus three. That's it. So we're just going backwards. So if the polynomial started off like that, you would say, what are my zeros? I'm supposed to be have four. Okay, zero, multiplicity one, one twice because of the exponent of two, and three. We're not gonna multiply this out. You could do it, I could do it, it's tedious. It's gonna be an X to the fourth, right? X, X minus one, X minus one, X minus three. I can tell right away it's X to the fourth. All the other stuff, I don't know, but for something like this, let's not bother multiplying it out. Pretty easy. So I was just gonna show you a couple other of the evens, 28 and 30, and then I'll stop and we'll go straight to the quiz and we're finished. Okay, so 28, zero of multiplicity two, one of multiplicity one, three of multiplicity two. Okay, so root of zero, 
equal to plicity two. A root of one. Multiplicity one. And a root of three. Multiplicity two. Should not be that bad. What's the final degree of the polynomial? Five. Two of these, one of these, and one of, and two of these. So zero means x minus zero, but x minus zero is x. X squared. X minus one. X minus three squared. That's it. It's fifth degree. If you multiply it all out, it's x times x times x minus one times x minus three times x minus three. So you have x times x times x times x times x. It would be x to the fifth, and then some other stuff for x to the fourth, and some other stuff for x cubed, x squared, x, and then a number, right? But it's going to be x to the fifth something. So it's fifth degree. That automatically means there are five roots, five zeros. <clears throat> they are zero, zero, one, three, and three. So because of repetition, we say zero multiplicity two. One of multiplicity one and three of multiplicity two. Okay, 38, and then I'm done. Okay, and I would have already snuck in quite a bit of 13.3. So Monday, I'll do the rest of 13.3, including the harder ones. I'll show you what happens when you have those eyes there. Okay, so Monday, I'll finish 13.3 and hopefully sneak in 13.4. Again, trying to stay a little bit ahead of the game in case I happen to fall behind or get sick or something weird happens, but hopefully I can still stay on schedule. Okay, so 30, and then I would have shown you all the evens so you don't have the answers in the back. And then Monday, well, there's two evens I didn't do because they were harder, 21 because of the I stuff and 24, but I, I can do that on Monday, hopefully. Okay, number 30, zero of multiplicity three, one of multiplicity two and three of multiplicity one. So the root of zero, multiplicity three, a root of one, multiplicity two, and a root of three, multiplicity one. So what is the degree of the polynomial? Basically, you just add these up. Six. <clears throat> so my polynomial P of X is X minus zero or X cubed. If the root is one, X minus one squared. And then x minus three. That's it. Six degree, because it's x times x times x <clears throat> times x minus one times x minus one times x minus three. So there's going to be six x's. It'll be x to the six plus blah, 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 blah. Right? Some x to the fifth and some x to the fourth and then some x cubed and some x squared and some x and a number. <clears throat> but it's going to be six degree. Therefore, there are six roots. Here they are. Zero, 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 one, one, and three. And there we go. Okay, I'm finished, folks. Let me do my focus job. If anybody has a question, you can either unmute yourself or put it in the chat now. Otherwise, we'll, we won't break. We'll go straight to the quiz and then have a good weekend. Okay, so here's the focus thing. What we just did. Um, I think I did this side, didn't I? Oh, let me show it to you quickly just in case. So does it give you time to ask questions in case you have any? And there we go.
Okay. That are good, folks. So any questions? Let me check the chat. Okay. Attendance, uh, Kimberly Perez, I got you. Cecil, I got you. Okay. Anything else? All right. Quiz time. So we'll go straight to the quiz. There is no second half. Just finish the quiz and you can leave. All right. So here we go. Get the quiz. So be ready to do a screenshot or take a picture on your cell phone. Okay, so completely factor P of X is X cubed minus two X squared minus five X plus six, given that one of the factors is X minus one. Okay, one of the factors is X minus one. Synthetic division is probably the fastest and go from there. Okay, so do the complete factorization. You can give the zeros. Okay, go ahead and get started. I'll hold this for maybe another 15 seconds. And by this time you should have been even been able to write it. So worst case scenario, write it down. Polynomial P of X is X cubed minus two X squared minus five X plus six. One of the factors is X minus one. Okay, I will now assume everybody has it. So go ahead and get started. Uh, I'll set up your breakout room. Star will go from one room to another perhaps. So get that going. I'll turn off the 